unit that we had hunted um, earlier in the week so we're gonna put 10 plus miles on the boots today but it's our last day out here so we're gonna make something happen the plan today is to get aggressive and uh, if it's brown it's down I want some elk meat smoke has definitely cleared up some in this unit, which is good. So we're going to hike just right over this rise, glass down into there where all the walls are, see if we can't pick something up. What do you got to trade? Anything? Yeah, I'll trade you some kettle cooked jalapeno chips for some Doritos. I'm down. <laughs> Lunch time. Our last ditch effort of this hunt. <laughs> Let's go down here in this creek bottom and sit on this pond slash elk wallow looking thing. Head down there to see if there's a, any good elk sign. I haven't seen a single elk all day today or all day yesterday. So, we're just uh, trying different things. Hopefully something works out. We've only got the rest of today and then our elk hunt is over. So, hoping we can get something to happen. We're just gonna get up high on this hillside and uh, hopefully be able to glass and see a bull coming down into this wallow. Even a cow, we definitely shoot a cow. Now I want the meat, so we're gonna see what we can't get done. this spot. I like it dude. This is a cool spot. We got all the cover right here. Alright guys we're uh, just loading back up. Getting the pack situated and uh, gonna start hiking our way off of the mountain. But we're just gonna still hunt our way back and see if we can't strike up a bull in one of the canyons. But uh, no luck over the water holes. It's a sweet little spot. Honestly it was a sweet spot but Nothing came in. We did see a black bear up over on this face, which was kind of cool. But uh, we're going to work our way back to the truck. Hopefully maybe run into a bull. If not, that's going to end our elk hunt. So we will uh, 
See you back on the trail. found a bowl. There's a bowl right here. Guys, we freaking found a bowl. We found a bowl. Just easy slipping down to the creek bed. And then we're gonna stalk this ridge line up to him. I think we've got a good chance on him. Because we'll have the wind in our favor. The wind and the thermos are dropping. Wind is dropping. So, wind is our advantage. Hoping this works out. We're gonna kill this ball. the last evening on the stock out. Oh my goodness. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that just happened. Joel. Joel, you beast. We freaking did it, dude. Dude, we worked so hard, Wes. We work so hard. We work so hard, dude. Dude. Yes. Where's Zero? Can we pass through? Let's go right over that rising glass. Okay. All right, so here's what we got. This is the arrow. And it looks like it's got decent blood on it, but it also looks like it's got a little bit of stomach matter or something, I'm not sure. There's a few bubbles in it. And I noticed, so I've got blood right here watched the video back and the arrow looks to me like center mass up and down looked solid it looked maybe center mass he was a little bit quartered like uphill I was thinking that I was going to be having to shoot a little bit left but I don't know I don't love what's on the arrow but there's red blood on the ground I don't know we're going to give him time, obviously give him a ton of time. Um, 
maybe even overnight. It is. It gets super, super cold here at night, like down into the 30s. So I think for sure gonna leave them overnight. We're gonna hike back down to the backpacks, hike off the mountain, get to the truck, drive down to where we've got service, and uh, call in hopefully some reinforcements. I'm hoping maybe Lydia can come back out here and help me track. Wes has got to go to the airport. <laughs> I wish I could say. <laughs> we got to get Wes to the airport by about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. And we're almost thinking Uber option. We're going to have to see, but um, I know what my day holds tomorrow. Hoping and praying that the shot is good enough. Um, we'll see. We'll just have to see. I uh, marked on Onyx, Last Blood. I also left my arrow up there on the Last Blood. Hiking down to the truck right now. Um, reviewing the footage. I hit right where I was aiming. I just, I thought he was quartering more. And when that arrow hit him, I was so confident that I absolutely smoked him. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to think. My head is in a weird, weird place right now. Um, I obviously do not want that bull to suffer. But, thank the Lord, it's not supposed to rain tonight and it's going to be 35 degrees. So the meat will be fine. And I am going to exhaust all efforts to find that bull. So, just thought he was quartering a little more than he was and... I don't know, the arrow's not giving me a whole lot of hope. I'm gonna do absolutely everything I can to find that animal. Just leaving the city. I dropped Wes off at the airport. It's about five o'clock in the morning right now and headed back out to the unit so I can go look for that bull first thing, first light. And uh, stopped and talked to that rancher, Steve, that we had met earlier in the week who's got the pack horses. And uh, he was ecstatic that I shot a bull and ex super, super excited to come help. So thank you, Steve. Um, gonna stop at his little camp um, just the second I get up the canyon, and him and I are gonna take the horses in and see if we can't find this bull. So. so guys, all geared up, headed down to uh, the trailhead. Start going in and uh, looking for this bull. Well, we're hiking into uh, where I shot the bull last night. We've got reinforcements. <laughs> what do you think, buddy, huh? <laughs> hey, it's just a pretty good trail, huh? Shot him way, way up there at that peak. We're gonna just hoof it up there and see if we can't get on blood first thing. All right, grab my arrow. I got last blood right there. So I'm gonna take the bow out and just make sure I've got, got an arrow knocked if we're gonna stalk into his bed or something, but I think he took this trail. So we're just gonna start looking for blood and hopefully run up on him. Got blood there. blood he's bleeding
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me that opportunity. We jumped him and he ran down here and I freaking shot him again. I hear him dying right now. I hear him dying. Did you see him jump? He went down and down to the right. Well, he, the second my arrow hit, is just blood. Oh, that, hey, that means his meat's fresh. Yes, baby. Yes. There's blood right there. Yeah. He was standing right here, and I come up over that peak right there and put another arrow in him. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's dead right there, Steve. You see him? Right there. I see his ass. Come on, stand up. Good job, bud. Thank you. Yeah. What do you think? Steve. Thank you, buddy. I'm getting Marianne and the horses. Five by four. Dead bull. You gotta stay after these animals. <laughs> you gotta stay after these animals. We owe it to them. Just packing up the horses. What do you think, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. Now we fit in. That's good now. Well guys, this is what I prayed for, was that I would be able to recover this bull, and it's almost surreal that it all happened the way that it did. I feel very, very blessed. <laughs> Sorry about the camera lens, it's probably pretty dirty, but I think this is a great way to close out the movie. I mean... Check out this view. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.